Hi, this is Daniel Shanahan with New Leaf Data. And in these videos, I have a couple of videos, and I want to talk about popovers, the new layout object in FileMaker 13, and how to use those in vertical navigation. Now, many times what we see in FileMaker is a horizontal navigation. This is pretty typical. This is very nice, I think, what they've done in 13 for a horizontal navigation. And that's pretty typical how we would do that. Uh, is just have things up here on a, on a bar. It's, uh, it, has, it seems to me that this has become more common in the web. Here are some examples, uh, particularly in data-driven websites. So I'm on a site here called ThemeForest. ThemeForest is a place that developers can download uh, uh, themes, uh, web themes, and in any case, I'm on one, and you can see how this has this vertical navigation here. Oh, it works pretty nicely. Expands and contracts. So if I go over to, to the ThemeForest site, you could uh, this is part of the ThemeForest site. If I just get a screenshot of some of these, most of these have some kind of vertical navigation. In fact, I think all of these do. So this seems to be a trend, uh, a current trend now in at least data-driven websites. Now this can be done in FileMaker, and here are a couple of examples. Here's uh, Ray Culligan's site, Nightwing, and this is a, a older version of FileMaker, but it's still the the, uh, but it still works. You can see, and this is how we would do vertical navigation in FileMaker is we would use a portal. So Ray has this portal over on the right hand side and you can see Douglas Adams is highlighted and here we're on Douglas's record and the idea is that we could click on any of these people and it would go to that person's record and of course Matt Petrowski has done this very well over here in his theme studios and so uh, one could click on these and that's going to change uh, change the layout and so it's all navigation there. So very possible in FileMaker. There are some limits though. In FileMaker this has to be used on the form view. You can't use this on the list view because you need this whole space and we can't divide up that space and just have our list over here. If we want to have a list over here, and I think Matt does this, he's using a portal here to show another list. So what I want to do is show how we could use the, the new popovers to do a vertical navigation. So here's the dashboard. Here's what uh, comes with the invoices. I have a different invoice here. So I've changed this over to just one button called navigation. And when I click that, I get a popover. And in the popover is a portal and I can click on the portal and expand and contract that portal. And you can see that in the portal I can have uh, text and I can have graphics. I can do an indent with other graphics. And so it allows me for navigation. If I want to go to uh, invoices I could show customers. Uh, and it, Let's see, I can show all the customers. It takes me right to that list. The other thing that's pretty neat about this is uh, is that I can be on a list view. You can see here I'm on the list view and I can still use this navigation. So I'm not limited in just the form view. So that's popovers for vertical navigation in FileMaker 13. And in the next video I'll run through a little bit of the scripts and the parameters uh, sort of behind the scenes just to show how I've done this. You will be able to, to download this file from my site, uh, newleafdata.com, and you'll be able to pick it apart. It's completely open and, and make changes and reverse engineer. Thanks.